ByteMail has additional requirements for its package sorting operations. Packages that weigh more than 8 kilograms need to receive an extra shipping tax, and a message must be displayed to warn the user. This extra step means that more than one action has to happen when the condition is true. Fortunately, the if statement is perfect for this job. When the condition in the if statement is true, we can execute as many operations as we'd like. So if the package weight is more than 8 kilograms, we can increase the value of a variable named shipping price and we can also display a message with the help of console.log. However, there is one small problem. Look at the code here. How can we identify which instruction should be executed by the if statement? It's impossible to tell because nothing separates the condition from the operations. Due to this, we need to use a pair of curly braces to group operations that belong together. A true condition is an indication to execute the set of instructions within the curly braces. The curly braces group the instructions in what we call a code block. Let's apply this new knowledge by creating a new code block for ByteMail's sorting machine. In the code editor, we're going to create a code block that will do two things. One, add $5 to the shipping price as an overage fee, and two, display a message to warn the user. Start by inserting a curly brace to open up a code block. Now, write the mathematical expression to raise the shipping price. For this, we simply take the shipping price variable and add the value of five to get our new shipping cost. On the next line, immediately after the mathematical expression, write a console.log instruction. Inside its parentheses, add the message, package overweight, adding shipping surcharge. The last step is to close the code block using the closing curly brace. This step is critical or the program won't work. Run your code and see what happens.